that are Pennsylvania vendors, okay? Obviously, we are all concerned about the deeming regulations. Uh, as a business owner myself and a member of Safada, um, we all know that the most challenging question that everybody has right now is what can I do? And that's absolutely a very valid question. Here's how I'm informing my staff and folks that I work with in my shop. Let's build our numbers right now and sit back and wait for guidance. I understand it's frustrating. Our livelihoods are at stake with this regulation, but it's gonna do nobody any good for 27 different half-cocked efforts to go off and not accomplish our overall goal. This coalition that has been formed is going to provide us the guidance that we need. If you are not a Safada member, join Safada. Safada is the industry group. There are others, that's your decision. Safada is the one that I represent. Safada is going to give you as business owners the guidance, the appropriate tactics when the time comes that we are all going to need to execute. At some point you were all consumers before owning a business, uh, I assume. Uh, and also, you guys have uh, an incredible opportunity in that you are behind the counter engaging with consumers every day. And so it's vital that you guys are, you know, you have the information that you can provide to them so that they can understand what's going on and that they can get involved. And obviously, I, or I hope, the, the thing that is on everybody's mind right now is the FDA deeming regulations. And we're working to put out kind of a an easy um, guide. I don't want to go into two official words because I don't want to give guidance to business owners. We are here to give some sort of, paint some sort of picture for consumers as to what they can expect in less than 90 days. What is going to your vape shop going to look like in 90 days? How many products are they still going to be able to purchase? Um, and, and what, what does it mean in terms of how many of these shops are actually gonna be open in 90 days? Uh, and so there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of very smart people working behind the scenes to try to comprehend what the FDA has actually put out. Um, if any of you, I, I encourage everybody to go online tonight, today, whatever, and take a crack at reading the, de the deeming regulations. Ah, good luck. I, mean, I just want to say that again. I encourage all of you to go on the internet tonight and take a crack at reading the deeming regulations. Don't be discouraged. Even the lawyer types have to read a paragraph multiple times to try to understand what the FDA is trying to say. These things are not very easy to understand. Somehow, there is some plain language stuff out there, but don't expect any of you to understand it. I just encourage you to try to familiarize, familiarize yourselves with it because you're going to be going through the process of registering your products. You may be going through pre-market tobacco applications. This is the language that you're going to be dealing with at every step of the way. So it's not a bad idea to try to get familiar with it now. And plus, and this is, this is a very, very important thing. As we move forward in our efforts to oppose these regulations, everybody needs to be familiar with the process. You all need to be able to speak with some authority on why this process is affecting you in a negative way. Unless you have taken the time to consult with somebody who you trust as an expert, and I'm not talking about that guy that picked up the regulations that speaks with some authority that says, oh yeah, I totally read it and I know what's going on. I'm talking about, you have spoken to somebody in an industry association. You have spoken with legal counsel. You have spoken with somebody who has years of experience with the regulatory process and they have given you an informed opinion. That's what you need in order to understand these regulations, to be able to inform your consumers, to be able to speak with some sort of comprehension amongst each other. I have seen post after post after post on Facebook, people talking about how they understand the regulations. There's absolutely a time and place for that discussion. But when people are just sort of doing amateur regulatory interpretation, it's confusing the issue. It's confusing the issue for other business owners and it's confusing consumers. 
I know it's very hard to hear somebody say, just be patient, because the clock is ticking, and we absolutely understand that. But we all need to get a very concise and accurate understanding of how these regulations are going to affect all of us before we go out into the world and speak authoritatively about it. And you'll notice, if I get any questions from you guys today, and I'm not absolutely confident in the answer, I'm gonna to defer to one of these guys. I'm gonna to defer to somebody that's not here because they ha there are smart people looking at these regulations and they're baffled by this. So uh, I want, our job is to provide you with accurate information, provide your customers with accurate guidance, provide your customers with opportunities to take action that will hopefully be effective and on that note, and then I'll be done talking because I'm taking up a lot of time here. Um, if you haven't seen the announcement, we have all joined together in a coalition. CASA, Safada, AVA, Not Blowing Smoke, AIMSA. Um, there, is, there are also other organizations that are either in the process of or invited to come into this group. There's going to be a lot of us in this coalition. We are all pooling our resources, pooling our experience. We are coming up with legal, legislative, public relations, and other strategies to fight back against this. Some of these stages, I'm, I cannot talk about. I cannot talk about some of the details. I apologize, but that's the way this goes. Along this process, there will be things that we are not able to talk about. We're not gonna disclose strategy publicly. That gives the opposition an opportunity to formulate their opposition. Um, so, I, I'm asking politely for some patience here as we go through this process. Uh, as we hit certain benchmarks and certain needs arise, we will reach out to the community and ask for engagement. I hope that all of us are dialed in. I hope that everybody here is scared. I hope that you're scared enough to pass along our information to your customers. Take action yourself get connected to an industry association. If you're not a member of an industry association right now, the next thing you need to be looking to do is joining an industry association. That's where you're going to get advice about the deeming regulations. That's where you're gonna get guidance. That's the people that you're gonna be able to turn to in order to get more information and, and help going through the process. And also, you're paying dues. Your dues are going to go towards the lobbying effort, the legislative effort, and the legal effort so that we can, we can take care of this. And with that, I've taken up a lot of your time, so which one of you guys wants next? Request for vape. Thank you, thank you. You always lovely. Mimi. One of my favorite YouTube channels ever. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Hello, shit. Guys. They let you guys in? We're here. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? That guy. Never seen him before. <laughs> How's it going, man? <laughs> nice that. I'll be back. What's up, Scott? What's going on, my friend? I know, it's like deja vu, except it's warm out now. What's going on, buddy? How you been? Good. Good to see you, man. Hey, babe? Wolverine. And it really has been like a minute since I saw you. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Fantastic. I'll be back. Awesome. Good, I gotta catch up with John here this weekend. Awesome, what do you got here, man? That's not juice, is it? No, it's an RDA. Really? No kidding. Sweet. Very nice. Look at that airflow. Very cool. I love it. 
come back and talk shop with you about that. The the Corbin. The Mora? Yep. From Box Base. All right, man. I'm Will. I'm Daryl. Nice to meet you, man. It is kind of blasphemous. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> awesome stuff. No coffin today? No coffin. Ah, okay. No coffin. All right. We got skulls, though. We got we the got skulls. skulls. We got that. We got a little bit of the Ouija board and okay. a little bit of dark stuff. Oh, that's what that is. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's going to be a long weekend. I'll catch up oh, with absolutely. you. Absolutely. What's up, guys? How you doing? Oh, my baby wants to say hello to its papa. How you doing? Good. What's up, guys? Oh, I've heard about this. You got a couple of good video reviews out there. Yeah, I think my buddy Mike Vapes might have done one. I'm not sure, I gotta go. I don't know, I didn't catch it if it did. Uh, I'm on the laptop. You can watch Grim and uh, Vape and Heathen talk about it. What's that, Vape and Heathen? Yeah. I don't know, that's what he's doing. I'm hoping he comes tomorrow. Oh, we don't know if he's coming or not. I don't know. He's got a full time job and a family. Balance that out the whole weekend. Just two hours, I guess. Billy, are you going to get your ass over here to Carlisle, or are you going to miss this one too, Billy? Did you shoot a video last year? Yeah. I think I watched it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I recognize your voice. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Daryl. Quest for Vape. I'm Brad. What's Jason. up, guys? Are you guys the inventor of this RDA? Yes. Fantastic. It looks very... Uh... These are all different airflow configurations. Very good for the same gripper. Oh, you got notch coils. Nice. Yeah, they're vape well. Dual coils, it's like a .125. That's vapable on a single series. Not well on a single series. 